How should we start this? I don't know. Trump loves the markets, the markets love Trump. Uh, is that the case still, Brent? That's That seems to be the case. All right, well, let's get on with it. It's the last day of January. Uh, State of the Union just went down. Any market moving stuff going on with that or just sort of same old, same old? Kind of a lot of the same old, same old. I highlight a couple of surprises from the speech. Uh, Trump barely discussed trade. Uh, also, the immigration debate seems to be nowhere near resolution. Uh, also, Trump's political capital is seemingly higher than anticipated. These comments from uh, our friends at Height Securities. Now, what these mean really quickly. So, uh, changes for the physical border have gone up. Uh, excuse me. Uh, changes for the physical border wall have gone up. Uh, infrastructure policy could keep going. Uh, momentum keep, could keep going this year. Uh, height is seeing a 15% chance that infrastructure policy could become a law in 2018. A couple things to keep in mind from his speech. The market is moving higher today. Let's remember that we had a major sell-off yesterday. And let's also remember that so far in 2018, the Dow Jones is up about 1,800 points. Mm -hmm. So as you sort of alluded to, there are people who are saying Trump, you know, the market loves Trump. Let's just keep in mind some of the recent price action. Yeah, like the Dow, I think, went down 300 some points yesterday was the big move. Yep. Yeah. All right. But uh, we are in earnings season and we have a few names to go over. Uh, one of the, the ones that uh, reported uh, were semiconductors. It was AMD. That's right. Uh, tell us a little bit about it because... Uh, so AMD, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so AMD uh, beat on earnings. They beat on sales. A really interesting part about the report was in every single earnings report, there's a section called the cautionary statement. It's basically let's call it legalese. It's some stuff that companies have to disclose. In AMD's cautionary statement with their earnings report yesterday, they included a warning for Spectre and Meltdown, which are those two side channel issues uh, that Intel had. What seems to happen is upon finding out about inclusion in the cautionary statement, it seems like algorithms reacted to this. They drove AMD shares down from 1350 high in the after hours all the way down to 1188. We got a comment from spokesperson at AMD, uh, spokesperson at AMD who said, you know, this is stuff we have to do. It's not really a big deal. Uh, stock is now trading 7% or higher or so for the session. Something to keep in mind with the semiconductors, we already had Intel earnings. They were very strong the day after Intel earnings came out. The stock was at a 52-week high. This is important for NVIDIA, which is going to be reporting on February 8th. Remember that the semiconductor names have been running up into the NVIDIA report. It'll be something important to know. Real quick, yeah. something that I like to look at with the semiconductors is an ETF. It's ticker SMH. It'll give you a good uh, basket exposure of a lot of the semiconductor names. Something to think about. Pro tip. Uh, okay, then. We had another uh, earnings in uh, video games. EA yes. Uh, reported. Yes, sir. EA shares are up about 7% today. They had uh, a strong bottom line report. Uh, this is important because we're going to get Activision earnings on also on February 8th. Just something to keep in mind as you're considering any kind of earnings report. Remember what some of the other players in the sector have done. Yeah, and there were some bearish calls for EA in the run-up, and uh, I saw that uh, year over year they're actually revenue is down despite some of the uh, the price action that we've seen today. Street doesn't care. Yep. All right, and uh, last thing you brought to me you thought was very interesting was Helios Matheson HMNY. What's what's going on on that? So front? this is sort of a this is sort of a warning. Over the last few days we've gotten. Uh, sources on Twitter who have been suggesting that there could be some interest in Helios and Matheson, which is the parent company for MoviePass, by Netflix. Want to issue a warning here because as we started hearing about these reports, the stocks were already rallying. On Monday when we heard something like this, shares of Helios and Matheson rallied 5% following this report, only to sell off by the end of the day. Today we heard a very similar report, Netflix interest. Uh, unconfirmed we don't know anything about you know where the source is coming from uh, stock rallied 3% on this unconfirmed rumor and has since sold off so a warning here on Helios and Matheson all right there was also some uh, other interesting plays in Helios and Matheson just based off of uh, some conflict they had with AMC or something but I don't know who goes out to movies anymore right <laughs> if it's Star Wars okay we're going <laughs> bye